Hello everyone, I'm Andrea, AKA Miss Fackelman, and today I'm gonna show you all how to create paper mache ice cream cones. This project is inspired by Wayne Tebow. If you are one of my longtime students or if you have been watching my previous videos, you already know that I am a huge fan of his artwork. He was born in 1920 and he passed away last Christmas 2021. I have done four videos previously where I dive deeper into his biography and show how to create drawings inspired by his sweet treats. If you're interested in watching those, check them out on my channel history. Wayne Tebow got his start as a teenager being an apprentice cartoonist for Disney. He later joined the Army Air Force and worked as an art educator teaching other soldiers how to draw. And then he went on to earn his bachelor's and his master's in art. Now, despite loving art from a very young age, he did not become famous until he was middle-aged after he got an independent gallery show featuring his paintings of sweet treats. I often refer to his artwork when I wanna teach my students about capturing texture and form in art. This is because he uses oil paint, to create the effect of having frosting dripping from the canvas that he is creating his sweet treats on. I also love how he uses 3D shapes like cylinders, cones, and spheres, among many others, to make his sweet treats look more three-dimensional and realistic. Now for this project, I taught my second graders last year how to make paper mache sculptures that look like ice cream cones, as we have seen in quite a few of his works of art. So for this project, you are going to need at least one foam cup for each of the people who are doing this project. You're going to need enough newspaper to crumple and create ice cream scoops along with stuff your foam cups with so that way they don't fall over as much. You'll need masking tape, you'll need scissors so you can cut white strips of paper or cut newspaper strips to later use as paper mache. You'll need acrylic paint, brushes, plates, bowls for your water, newspaper or plastic to cover and protect the surface where you'll be working. You'll need a smock to protect your clothes, wipes to clean up when you are finished, and you'll need glue and water to create the paste for our paper mache. So let's find a good place to work and get started. Let's take our foam cups. And if you're doing this project with someone else, you might wanna write names so you can tell whose project is whose. I'm going to take a sheet of newspaper and crumple it up into the shape of a sphere or a ball. That is going to be my first ice cream scoop. Now make sure you have some little strips of masking tape ready so that you can secure it into that ball shape. Now you want to make sure that it's just the size that you want and then once you have it where you need it, go ahead and tape it inside. One thing that I missed that I advise all of you to do is to first crumple up some newspaper and put it in your cup before you tape on your scoop. This will add some extra weight inside your cup so it's less likely to topple over. Now I'm going to crumple up and rip another sheet of newspaper to create a second scoop. For those of you who just want to have a single scoop for their ice cream cone, that's absolutely fine, but I decided that I want to have a second scoop. Now this one, it's a little too small for me, so what I'm going to do is grab another sheet of newspaper and wrap it up like a present making sure that it's as smooth as possible so it's easier to keep in that sphere shape once I tape it. One thing I want you all to be aware of is that if you make your ice cream scoop too big or if you make it out of too many sheets of newspaper, it'll be really heavy and topple over. You wanna make sure that there's not more weight with the ice cream scoops than there is with the newspaper you put in your cups. I'm gonna use the masking tape to smooth down any bumps that might've developed when I was crumpling and wrapping my ice cream scoop. 
I'm gonna take the strips of masking tape that I had ready and secure that second scoop to the one on the bottom, but I'm going to make sure that I tuck the ice cream scoop in between them so it doesn't look so much like it's attached and it has the exact shape of the ice cream scoops, one stacked on top of the other as I want. There we go. Now there's still a little bump right here and I'm gonna rip a smaller piece of masking tape and smooth that over to get the shape that I want. We need to make sure that our ice cream scoops, however many we have, are secure and not wobbly before we move on to the paper mache portion of our project. I'm gonna add some extra strips right here to make sure that those other pieces of tape are really secure and making sure that my top scoop is stable. Be sure that no part of your tape or your newspaper is loosey-goosey, otherwise your project won't look smooth or have good craftsmanship. Because I didn't write my name earlier in the video, I'm going to write my name on the bottom of my cup. This is really good if you're doing this as a lesson with the class, so that way no one mixes up their projects. This next part is completely optional, and I told this to my second graders last year, but if you want to have a cherry on top of your ice cream cone, you just need to rip a smaller piece of newspaper, have one or two strips of masking tape to secure it into that little ball for the cherry, and then just as I used the tape to secure my second ice cream scoop to the one that was already in my cup, use two pieces of tape to secure it to that second scoop right on the top. Once again, see how I tucked the middle of that strip of tape so that it wasn't so obvious. You should not be able to look under the strips of tape that you use. They have to be smooth, flat down to the shape that you want for your cone. All right, looks like I'm ready. Time for the paper mache portion. Make sure that you have plenty of newspaper to cut into strips and make sure that you have a sink or a bathroom available in case you need to clean yourself up. Now in my class, I used half glue, half water, but when I was doing this project at home, I made my paper mache paste from mixing half flour, half water together. I used a fork to mix that up until it looks like pancake batter. No, we're not going to want to eat this, but we are going to make some awesome artwork with this paste. Now I'm going to take my newspaper strip, dip it into the paste that I created. However, you don't want it to be soaking. What I suggest you do after you soak it is use your two fingers to squeeze it out like I just did, and then smooth it first around the bottom of your ice cream cone, which is the cup. Just like I said with the masking tape we used to create our ice cream cone, we need to make sure that all of the strips are smoothed flat and we shouldn't be able to look under them. All the ends need to be smoothed down. If you need to rip into smaller pieces, go right ahead and do that so you have the shape that you want. It's really important that as you are creating this nice even surface that you will paint later, that you always overlap those strips one just over the other. There shouldn't be any gaps, nothing that allows you to see the newspaper or the foam or the masking tape underneath. You wanna cover the entire surface of your cone, the entire surfaces of your scoops and your cherry. You don't have to worry about the bottom because we're not painting that, but you want to cover everything we're going to be painting and make sure that all those pieces that you rip and you dip and you smooth onto your ice cream cone are smoothed down with no folds or any ends that are sticking out. Next, you need to let your ice cream cones dry for one to two days. Mine was ready to paint after one day of drying, and then I got a little bit of every color that I wanted for the acrylic paint. I used a tan for the cone. I had a peach color, and I mixed that with a little bit of brown to get the shade that I wanted. And then I used the colors that I wanted for every ice cream scoop. Keep in mind, you can choose whatever flavor you want, or if you want to make a not very typical color, go right ahead. You could do 
rainbow you could do some polka dot ice cream that would be a lot of fun and for the bottom what i did was first use a thin paintbrush to paint vertical lines that went up and down on my comb and then i created some horizontal lines to make that checkered pattern that you often see in ice cream cones Make sure that you fill in every space. You don't wanna see the newspaper underneath. A couple times I found that I had to paint two layers of acrylic paint to hide the text underneath. That's one benefit if you choose to cut up white blank paper strips instead of using newspaper, because then you have a blank surface and you don't have to worry about covering anything underneath. However, I really liked how my ice cream cone turned out. I gave it as a gift to a former co-worker of mine and now lives in her classroom, but I was very happy with it. If I had more space, I would have kept my ice cream cone, but I was moving and I was trying to shed some stuff I didn't need. And because it once made her happy and she said she loved how it looked, I said, well, here, it's my gift to you. So I made some marshmallow frosting that was dripping from my top ice cream cone. I painted a little white dot to make my red cherry look a little shinier. But you can add sprinkles, you can add some chocolate drizzle, or anything else to make your ice cream cone look as fun as possible. Then it'll look beautiful wherever you decide to put it in your home, whether it's your bedroom or in a living space. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe below so you can get notified whenever I post a new video on my channel. And if you would like to say what you enjoyed about my video or what I should do next, leave a comment below. And above all else, everybody have a great day, stay creative, and I'll see you all next time.